This one, that's the one I want. So what's up guys, uh, got you guys a quick little tutorial today. Um, I honestly, I need to mix up myself some gray so that I have some gray ready in one of my pre-mix bottles. But I felt like that was a pretty good enough excuse uh, to give you guys a quick little tutorial on some smoke, which is what we're gonna use the gray for. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in that, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm obviously gonna start off by mixing my uh, gray. So we'll go over here and we'll start mixing it up. So, what's up Pickles the Carney? What's up Jesus? What's up bro, how's it going? What's up Tin Miner, how's it going? All right, so a couple things you're gonna need for today. Uh, we're gonna need a curve, a curve set, you know, so here we have, I have some of my real flame sets. Again, if you wanna get yourself uh, some nice stencils, go to mikesbrush.com. The stencils that I sell come like this. It's mylar backed with paper on the other side. Um, so if you like, uh, you know, if you like the mylar side, you could spray on this. If you like the little more absorbent paper side, you could spray on that. So you're gonna need some of this. Now, if you don't have money for one of these, you could also go down below. There's a link um, to the stencils, uh, the stencil designs. You could go down there. There's a French curve design you could download, and you could use that as well. Uh, it's free to download, but you got to cut it out of your own plastic and all that jazz. So, yeah, so we're going to be mixing up some gray. So I'm going to be using some 4011 reducer, some Wicker White, and we're going to be using a couple drops of the Wicked Jet Black. Uh, we're going to be mixing it up in one of these pre-mix bottles. Um, again, the link to these bottles will be down below. Also, the link to the Createx Airbrush Colors is down below if you need to get yourself any of this stuff. Um... We are using the new Wicked Opaques, so I'm not going to mix any 4050 in there. But if you want to uh, make your paint just a little bit stronger so you can use it for a lot of stuff, throwing in a little 4050 or a little 4030 in here in the mix would not hurt. Alrighty, so all that being said, let's get to mixing. So I'm going to use, again, one of these little mixing cups that has all the sizes on it. And I'm going to just mix up some gray. I'm going to start off by adding white. And again, we're going to add about 15% reducer to our mix. Or 10% reducer, I'm sorry. So we're going to throw some white in here. We're going to throw a few drops. And I mean like literally, like you see how much white's in there? It's a pretty good amount of white. All I'm going to do is throw in a few drops. Two, three, let's do four drops of white. We want it to be a pretty light gray. Um, and those little drops of black are enough that they're going to change this whole color a whole lot. So don't get ahead of yourself. What kind of smoke are we painting? So uh, we're, we're going to try to do like a cigarette type smoke. So if you've ever seen smoke coming off of a cigarette where it kind of starts off nice and straight and then it gets up curly and, you know, kind of more curly towards the top, um, that's kind of what we're going to be going for today. Um, we might even... Why not? We could throw in the cigarette exercises as well. It's not going to take too long. So anyway, we're going to throw our, our here, our reducer in. And I actually want to just get this all mixed up on the outside before we pour it in here and shake it. So I'm adding 10% reducer. Just a little bit at a time. I'm going to take a brush. see right away as soon as that black starts mixing in you'll see the color change and the reason I want to just mix this outside first is because I want to see if I have to add more black or not I'm kind of going for a medium gray I don't want a really light gray I don't want a really dark gray so that's what we're gonna go for what's up blue how's it going what's up easy airbrush how's it going what's up clutch what's up Thomas yeah, yeah, yeah. what's up everybody what's up Nameless? What's up, William Klein? How's it going, everybody? How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing good. So, like I said, I've been, we've been working on pre-mixing the colors this year. So this is what I'm doing right now, is just making sure we get a good little pre-mix. Now, I'm not happy with that gray, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more. Now, it's always start off, like I said, 
with a few drops and you could always add more drops as you go. If you add a bunch at the beginning, then you're going to have to try to add white, you know, to go bring it back and, and no. So it's always better to start off with a little, or just a few drops of black. And then, you know, if you're not happy with the premix, just add a couple more drops. I'm just adding four more drops. I think it'll be enough. Literally just four extra drops. Always make sure your Createx lids are nice and clean so that they close. And make sure those get mixed in pretty good. Alright, we might need... The, the opaque white is, is pretty strong, not gonna lie. That barely changed it, so let's, let's go ahead and add... Uh, like I said, I want a medium gray, so we're gonna go just go ahead and add a squirt in there. Hopefully that wasn't too much, but I do want it to go dark, darker than it is. Darker even. I want darker than this. We might have to add some more reducer as well. But I'm just trying to give you guys a good idea how much paint I'm mixing and how much black. There we go, now we get into gray. That opaque white though, it is slightly overpowering. All right, now I'm pretty happy with the gray that's coming out. It's, it's getting in there pretty dark. I'm just gonna add maybe just a little bit more black. It's still just a little bit on the light side, so. It's a little bit more. good we're gonna go ahead and pour it into our bottle here and try to spray off this brush real quick how much would you after the effect for flame you will end up with 16 ounces of gray. <laughs> you should have started with the black and added a little white. No, 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 no. You definitely don't want to go that way. So you'll end up coming over like a charcoal and it'll take you long. You know, boom. Like I said, that opaque white is a little bit overpowering. So it just takes a little more black than I thought. But we're going to pour this in here and now we'll have our gray pre-mixed an opaque gray nice and pre-mixed now we did add a bunch of black so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a couple drops a reducer in here just a little squirty to top it off then we're gonna shake it up and that's all we need to start off today we just need a medium gray and from here right from this gray we could tone it Right, so if once we're working a gray and you need it to be darker, uh, once it's in the airbrush, you can take a drop of black, um, drop it in there, shake it up, and then you got a little bit darker gray in your airbrush. But that's why I like mixing up a medium gray, because then if I need it to be darker, then I can mix up more, more black into it. If I need it to be lighter, I could mix up a little bit of white into it. But I could do that on the fly in the airbrush. I don't have to have, you know, I mean, I could have a bunch of shades pre-mixed, but uh, I don't really specialize in black and white art like that. So just having a medium one is nice. And then as I work the painting, I can mix up different shades and different airbrushes. So that's the reason we're just doing. So yeah, the, the new opaque colors is pretty good though. That white is really strong though. And the, that's it's a good thing. I'm not complaining. It covers, the coverage on it is amazing. And that's what we want. Um, so yeah, we got our gray mixed up. 
We are going to be using a little bit more black, so we're going to keep that out. We're going to put the white away. Uh, I could probably keep the reducer out just in case. Let's throw this mixing cup out. And then bring you guys over to the paper so you guys can see what kind of paper we're using today. So today we're using this uh, Grumbaka watercolor. And this is 300 uh, or 140 pound or 300 GSM paper here that we're going to be using on today. I like using this for practice and for exercises. You can use it's pretty forgiving, especially when you're working with Createx. So if you're interested in what exactly what paper I'm using, that's it right there. 140 pound paper, I feel like is a pretty good paper. Anything over 80 pound is probably what you're going to want, but um, the higher the number, usually the higher the cost and uh, the thickness. But 140 pound is uh, probably the sweet spot. So we'll just take one of those sheets. I'm going to set up my board here. And we're going to set up. So then we can go back over here. And we can get rid of this guy. We won't need that camera now. Cool. I know, but let's not let Mike know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't let me know nothing. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. So there's James Melton in the chat. What's up, James? And I have to say a special shout out to James. So I have my cup here. James sent over this cool cup. Skull Squad Boy. And uh, James painted this, sent it over. So huge thank you to James. Super awesome, super cool. He made one for, for Jess too that matches her car. Uh, it's a, the Prince Cup, um, which is pretty awesome. And he made one for Violet, which uh, was a Minecraft one, which she really, really liked. Uh, oh, she went crazy when she seen it. So she really liked that. Um, so yeah, thank you, James. Skull Squad, boy, that's awesome. I really love the, the cup. I like how you did this, pretty dope. Thank you very much, sir, for that. All right, so I'm just going to take some tape real quick. We're going to set up our painting. Seeing lots of people get plugged airbrushes. Yeah, if, if you don't maintain your airbrush, it's gonna have issues. Um, I always wonder if paper would work versus canvas. Yeah, paper works good. New ultra white titanium causation. <laughs> uh, look at that studio for real artist shit right there. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, way to go, James. Yeah, it's, it's a really awesome cup. Thank you, James. Super appreciate it. All right. What's up, Jesse? What's up, Break a Leg? What's up, Mr. Moose? Moustache? All right, so we have our, our paper set up now. And uh, like I said, we're doing like smoke coming off of a cigarette. So we're going to start with one little make focal point where we want the smoke to come out. And then we're going to kind of build it up and maybe curl it up some and stuff at the top here. Just like it would on a cigarette, you know, where the, the it's like in a still air room. And then maybe somebody's breathing, so it's causing some, some waves at the top of the smoke. And then we'll go back and we'll add the cigarette when we're done. A uh, really simple exercise. Um, and we're going to start by pouring in some gray. I'm going to take a water eclipse, why not? And just rinse it out really quick. I actually need to pour myself some water because my spray bottle is empty. So let me let me just go get some water real quick. Cause this thing is uh Pretty toast. And this one has like just just the tiniest bit. So let me go refill these real quick. I'll be right back.
Alrighty, alrighty. I'm back. Cool. What's up, David? Alright, now we got ourselves some nice soapy water. We can actually rinse some stuff out. That's that's the usual bad prep. What's up, Paul Tartala? How's it going? Hey, go puff, 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 pass. You guys are funny. <laughs> uh, she's back. <laughs> okay, got our airbrush rinsed out. That was a quick hit, Mike. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you guys are funny. See what you did, James? They see some weed plants on a cup. Now they think, you know, that's all I do. <laughs> Alrighty. So now we have our airbrush all rinsed out. Gonna just run some quick reducer through it. Whoa. I did get myself some water too though. We all do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys are the ones making the jokes, so I assume it's yoga, you guys. All right, so I'm just gonna take some of the gray we mixed up. Just gonna pour some in here. Oh, that's that came out real nice after shaking it, shaking it like a Polaroid picture, and it came out beautiful. Gonna put our nice skull cap on there, you know, <clears throat> Mike'sBrush.com. <clears throat> a skull cap on there. Mike, to me, you look more like a drinker and not a smoker. I don't drink at all, so. Uh, so like, I went to the rendezvous. I'm, I'm in Colorado. I went all the way to California to go to the rendezvous. And the only drink I had that whole entire time was I took a shot with Gerald Mendez. He was walking around with this, uh, this crazy, like, Aztec Jaguar bottle of tequila. And, uh, yeah, he was, like, offering shots to people and stuff. So, yeah. How can you not take a shot with Gerald Mendez? So I even told him, I told him, I was like, I don't really drink, you know, I was like, but it's you and you're asking me to take a shot, so there's no way I could say no. <laughs> oh, thank you, Paul Tarchala. Thank you, man. You're always the best. Thank you, thank you, sir, for the $10. You're amazing. Yeah, so I don't drink much, just like Blue said. <laughs> Have you tried the Madworks airbrush? No, I, there's a, I have not tried those. There's a, quite a few brands out there that kind of popped up that I do want to try. Um, so yeah, maybe throughout the year we'll do, we'll do uh, a few more reviews or something this year. So again, if you want to pull up a reference for your smoke, um, again, we're just going to like smoke off of a cigarette and we're probably going to paint, like do the cigarette and I'll show you a, a good way to do that. He said, hell yeah, you got to take the shot, bro. Of course you got to take the shot. What's up, Marshall Artistry? What's up, Shad Watson? Uh, which rendezvous were you at? It was the one last year. I believe it was June of last year. Because this year just started, so. Yep. Anyway, I got to get started. Otherwise, we won't get nowhere. So I want to take one of your, your curves. And you're going to want, like, a big, nice flat section right because we're going to do the, the very tip of the smoke and if you want to make yourself a focal point you know with a pencil or something you could just take like your um you know your truler's pencil you know trulers.com <clears throat> uh, trulers uh, you know you just take your truler's pencil 
and just make yourself one little dot just so you know where the smoke is going to be coming from and that's going to be the tip of our cigarette right there and just so you don't forget All right so you're going to want to line up your stencil there with your long edge and we're just going to hit we're really going to hit the stencil and then we're going to come off of the stencil just going up in a straight line we're not going to follow the curve we're just going to go up in a straight line so member for four months david yeah yeah yeah, yeah. skull squat sir mm -hmm. i like it don't take my foot six foot six 293 pounds oh man yeah yeah we got a linebacker in the house tim money will you be at this year's rendezvous i don't i'm not sure I, I can't promise anything right now right now i don't know <laughs> i don't know right now i just I just recovering and I'm gonna do my best to to make as many videos. Um, I do want to maybe do an out artist collab or something sometime throughout this year, but we'll see. Right now I'm just kind of shooting off the hip. But anyway, we're gonna start off on the stencil here, and we're gonna just bring a nice straight stroke up, just a nice boom. Right, and it might not look like much right away, but we're gonna move our stencil away. And you'll see it's just a nice little light nice little wisp. Then we're gonna take that same, the same edge you just used, we're gonna flip it back down like this, right? And now we're gonna bring it down to our focal point. Again, coming off of the stencil and just bringing it down to the focal point there. And you'll see it's like it's just a nice little looking like a nice little wisp coming up. Thought he was going to hit for reference. <laughs> you got David, thank you so much for the ten bucks. What is it? Blue, thank you for the ten dollars. Just not just for not drinking. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> you guys are awesome. I don't know what's you guys are, I haven't even started the the exercise. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Um so yeah, that's kinda where I'm at right now. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Blue, thank you, David, thank you, Paul. You guys are awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I was supposed to be painting right now. Yeah, that's that's usually how it goes, Nambus. It's like I want to paint, but then I want to read the chat. So which I can't have my eyes on both. <laughs> I'm trying to split my eyes. Anyway, we're gonna go back over here, and maybe you want to pick off a different, a different um edge here. But we're gonna bring this edge down kind of into the center of where we laid our smoke. And we, again, we're just kind of building it going up. So we wanna keep it pretty straight right now. Just a nice little stroke going down in there. Nothing too crazy. And these little edges right here, right, where they're gonna start building up. And it's fine because we're gonna come back in with a little free end, but we wanna build up. It's like, it's like building up the tension in the romance. This is what we're, we're building up the romance right here, and we're just building up the little tension in the middle, right? But now here we want to get wild, right? We may want to do a little bit more. We want to start pushing the boundaries of this romance, right? So we're going to take some curves here. And again, we're going to start off following the curve here, and then we're going to pull off, maybe going that way. So starting the curve there. And then just pulling off. See that? See how I just started there and then I pulled it off that way. And it doesn't have to be heavy because it won't seem so heavy until you pull it off. Right? But then now we got some smoke kind of trailing off that way. But then we're going to bring it back this way. So you take just a nice little different curve. Right? And we're going to use this curve here. We're going to follow it and then we're going to bring it back down to where that other one pulled off. Right? So just. You see how that just comes right back down to where the other one pulled off? Now we have that curve kind of coming around. <laughs> hey, 100 of them pennies makes real money. No, dude, every penny is a real money to me. I, I, I'm old school. I still have piggy banks and stuff, all right? I, I collect the change out of the couch. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna 
go back. We're going to kind of caress this center part. And I'm just going to start off with one stroke again, starting from our point. And I'm going to kind of just, you know, S it in here. A little bit of freehand, a little bit in there. Right, so just nice and easy. Just bringing it all the way around. Bam. And that's, that's pretty much it for this part. We don't really need to add too much to that. You could add another little stroke, maybe a really fine smoke. If you have the skills for it, you know, you just add some nice... Some nice fine lines right up in there. Simple. Now we can just play with the top. Obviously at the top you have more leeway because once the smoke kind of gets any turbulence, it kind of goes any which way, right? So up here, if you want to play around with it, um, this is kind of your area here. Your domain of, of how you want the smoke to be. And I'm just going to kind of just curl it around and, and let it go back up. So I'm just going to take some curve there. Maybe we're going to bring back... See, see, I'm doing like an S shape. I'm starting here and then kind of going it around. Right? And you kind of just want to just a little bit trade it out. They don't all have to connect because you can connect them back with the freehand. Right? So maybe you just want to add some of this going that way. And just nice light strokes. It's a lot easier to just build it up a little bit. And you can always go back and add some more. Right, just a nice little exercise like that. And you go back and you just add a little bit of freehand to it. Right, simple. Don't really have to do too much. You could you could get as crazy as you want up here. I don't really want to do too much. I want to make it kind of fading out up here. So that's probably good enough for me. If you want to spend more time on it, that's it's really good. Obviously, you could layer it even more if you want to add some white over this or something. You really can. But I feel like this gives the best impression. Just a nice light gray. You don't have to overdo it or anything like that. So. <laughs> I'm poor too. Where's my donations? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, I was really bad. It took me a long time. And even now, it's it's hard to save. But it took me a long time to learn that. That, you know, I need to save. It wasn't really put in my head um, until I was an adult. So, can't even blame you there. But it's something I do. I try to teach Violet, like, hey, if you save up your money little by little, then later on you'll have lots of money. It's probably the best advice you could give anybody ever is like, if you don't have lots of money now, just whatever you can, even if it's just a little bit of quarters, a little bit of change, just put it away. Don't look at it. Just keep putting in, keep adding, and keep adding. And then one day, you know, you're going to look in there. You're going to just be like, man, there's so much money in here. I didn't think I had money, and now I have money. So, what's up, Route 22? How's it going? My smoke would look like wisps. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's, that's where a reference comes in. Make sure you, you reference. Um, I actually, when I wanted to learn to sp spray smoke, I don't smoke cigarettes. Right? I don't smoke cigarettes so at all. Like I don't, I, I don't like the smell of cigarettes. I don't like at all. I don't. I can't. I just cigarettes are not my jam. Um, but what I did is go out and buy a pack of cigarettes. Then I, I had a, a one of the clothespins, and I, you know, would clip it up so it would kind of be off off the table or whatever. And then I just lit it, you know, like puffed on it to light it. And then I would just watch the smoke. This is the interesting life that I live for reference is I would literally just sit there and watch the smoke. You know, 
Maybe there'd be other smoke in the area. I don't know. But I was watching the cigarette smoke rise, and that's kind of how I would get a reference to this. Now, now though, if I was doing it now, I would probably do it like on a black background. Let the smoke rise. And now, because we all have phones, the great thing you could do is like if you have a good, a good smoke flow going, you could take pictures with your phone. And then not only that, you'll have the reference on your phone. Like you won't have to remember. Man, I had to use my brain for all of this stuff. You know, I had to remember what the smoke looked like when I wanted to paint it. Anyway, guys, we're going to bring you guys over here real quick. Back over here to the cutting mat. And we're going to cut up a stencil real quick. Nothing too crazy. I'm just going to show you guys a quick little way to make one of these stencils. And make yourself a quick little... Quick little cigarette. All right, so now if you have like a, a paintbrush like this, and usually they, how this goes smaller in the back, that's that's actually kind of cool because it'll give the cigarette some depth. So all I'm doing is tracing it out on a paper right there. Boom. I don't know how well you guys can see that. See the lines? Then I'm just going to make it into a cylinder. So I'm going to add the edges to make it into a cylinder. All right, so can you guys see that? Bam. I'm just gonna cut that out. Nothing too crazy about that. Seven months smoke free, nice dude, hell yeah. I'm just watching the smoke, Officer Honest. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, that's awesome. Seven months. Congrats, dude. So you cut it out. Boom. Gonna bring you guys over here. And actually, I need to adjust the camera really quick. Real quick, lock. Bring you guys over here. As a smoker, I can confirm that smoke never looks that neat, but still makes a good painting. I mean, I, I probably, it was probably not the best way to, that I did it because I'm sitting in a room with closed doors and um, yeah, there's like no wind or nothing. So you're, you're right. Smoke doesn't normally just sit around like that. But uh, again, I was, you know, I was doing it for science. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you how quickly we can make the cigarette on here. I'm just making sure our, our paper is going to stay in place. I'm going to take our same gray. Four years smoke free. Hell yeah. Good job, you guys. You guys are awesome. Do flames simulate flames? What does that even mean? What do you mean? <laughs> flames are flames. They don't need to simulate flames. I still haven't put any paint through my Iwata. Taking art classes now. Oof. The cost of cigs would make me <laughs> stop. Yeah, dude, they're not cheap anymore. I'm, I'm, I remember a time when there was ads for cigarettes. It was like 99 cents. <laughs> so yeah I can see how people were just smoking them like crazy so look all I'm gonna do is uh, you can even take your curve here to give you a good initial point so we're gonna make the first obviously the end of the cigarette is burning so we're just gonna go ahead and come in with the gray right to give our ashy tip 
<laughs> we could come in and add some texture to it. Uh, if you have a texture stencil, you could obviously use that. I'm just going to use a little bit of freehand. I'm going to bring in a little bit of burning marks, right, going towards the inside there. Then all I'm going to do is actually wait. Before, before I do the, the tube of the smoke here, we're going to do a little bit of orange. I'm going to use the Air Cobra for this real quick. Look at this. Oh, pre-mixed orange, my guy. What's up, Gary Reed? Tried doing True Flames and didn't turn out that good. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little bit of practice, you know? A little bit of practice. Make sure you're looking at some references and stuff. And, uh, you know, just, just keep at it. I didn't start off doing flames like a pro either, so. Alrighty, so just got a little bit of orange in my Air Cobra. <laughs> Air Cobra, you know. Tim N, thanks for much work. Is in the way of me catching the live stream again. Don't worry, I'll get caught up later. Hit the like button, guys. Thanks again. Right on, Tim N. Thank you, thank you, sir. Have a good day at work. Jason Deal, six fifty a pack. Woo, woo, boy, you gotta really like some cigarettes. This six fifty a pack. Oh my gosh. So again, all I'm gonna do is lay my my uh, stencil here my curve and I want to follow this curve has to follow this curve so try to get a curve that's that's pretty close and we're just gonna hit that in real quick nothing too crazy just build up some orange in there Bam. it already looks like a cigarette but remember this white here is the white of the canvas so we take off the black um, there's actually nothing there, so we're going to switch back to our gray. And all I want to do is build up a shadow coming up off the bottom. And I do want it to kind of extend over towards the top a little bit. Right? Boom. Now on this top part, I just want the, the closest... Just a nice, quick, close shadow right there. Boom. Nothing too crazy. Then all I'm going to do to create a cool little shadow effect for our cigarette here is we're going to move our stencil. We're going to take this tape off. Right, and we're going to make it look like it's kind of like like uh, floating kind of at an angle here. So we're gonna take our stencil, we're gonna just m move it here. Right, boom. Using the same piece that we cut out to block off the painted area. All right, use that same piece that you cut out, the same cigarette part that you cut out and we're using that and and the piece that we cut out, like the outer part and the inner part, together. We're gonna take some gray. Then all I want to do is bring in a soft shadow from this point over here towards the outside. So this is gonna be the darkest, and then I really just want a really light gray coming this way. So just to, oh, that's the orange. Oh, that's the orange. Fine. Don't make my mistake. Make sure you grab the gray. And we're just going to bring it in nice and soft towards the edge. Bam. Simple, simple, simple technique. And the result looks really cool. I, every time I do one of these shadow things, I'm always like, oh, I'm a pro. 
<laughs> All right, guys, and that pretty much brings us to the end of the exercise today. I told you guys it was a quick one. Zoom you guys back out. There you go. I don't know how well that shows up on camera. Let me, let me do this. If I block the light. I don't know if it's my, my screen or if it's the camera or what, but I mean, looks pretty good. It almost looks like I just... See the, the shadow on the cigarette? It matches the shadow on my hand. Do you guys see that? What's up, Chris? How's it going, man? I'm just sitting here holding my cigarette, you know, waiting for it to burn out. <laughs> Steven! What's up, Steven Leahy? How's it going? Yeah, no, if when you're doing the shadows, always start off with a, like a lighter gray. And then maybe, maybe like on the darkest areas, just a little bit of swipe of the black or blend in the black into the gray, and you'll get a nice deeper shadow. This, this doesn't even require black. We didn't even use any black for any of this. So, yeah. So hopefully you guys liked that video. I mean, I know it's not the most longest video, but it's a good little exercise um, to do at home to get yourself not only used to doing maybe a quick little shape like this, but just to get your smoke and just to get a good flow of your paint and all that. Um, this exercise, even though it's, it's a simple one, it requires you to know a good understanding of reduction, of air pressure. Um, you know, you gotta know how to cut out a little quick stencil. And like I said, just this will translate into a lot of other artwork. Just knowing how to lay the smoke out you have no idea how many times I've done smoke around a skull, smoke around, you know, a, a, a bumblebee, smoke around a pinup girl, smoke around a missile that's, you know, or smoke around a plane, like smoke on everything, pretty much. <laughs> you know, smoke, spider webs, all kinds of stuff, but doing this is pretty cool. So, like I said, and if you don't have, you know, one of the flame kits or whatever, you, down below, there's a link, um, that, that stencil images link. There's a French curve set stencil you could download, you could try this at home. You've seen me the way I did this. Simple, simple exercise. So, hope you guys like that. Um. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys, and again, special shout out to uh, James for the for the super awesome Skull, Skull Squad Cup today. That was super awesome when I opened it up. But see, James, now you got everybody talking about me smoking. <laughs> but I really like my cup, so I, I was I got it now. Now it's like a trophy to me. I'm like, my children are growing up. They're bringing, they're, they're, they're making me stuff like school projects. You know what I'm saying? I'm all proud. It's like it's my baby. So it's been awesome to see James actually like, like go from, you know, from starting and now he's like sending me cups and the clear coat job on this. James, have you clear coated this? Bro, I love this clear job. You did amazing on this clear. Just gonna say that right now. It's it, this clear, bro. Lowrider people would kill for this clear job. So, yeah, I really like it. <laughs> um, and thank you, thank you again, sir. This is, this is the James Melton episode. This will forever be known as the James Melton Smoke, the Smoke Squad episode. <laughs> he said, no, no, you're bad. No, 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 not your bad. It's it's awesome, dude. This 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 clear job is amazing. Like, it's really good. <laughs> like, if you clear a car like this, I'd be jealous. I'd be like, 
Bro, how did you get that finish? This is really nice. I, I really love I really love my cup. So so this is the this is the James Melton um, smoking episode. <laughs> anyway guys, uh, we'll end the episode there. I do have a couple videos uh, planned out for you guys. One of them is a little bit longer video that's going to take a little bit more time. Um, it is going to end up going public right away because it's, it's kind of like, a, it's not really time sensitive, but I don't feel like letting it for 30 or for, you know, even a couple weeks or whatever. It's not really going to matter. There's So there's a video that's going to be coming soon for everybody and then the Skull Squad members uh, videos are going to start dropping uh, either at the end of this week or the start of next week. You can expect some nice good videos to start dropping. Again, if you want to support the channel, um, make sure you sign up for the Skull Squad down below. There's a join button. Helping um, Each member helps out a lot more than just watching the ads. So if you really like these videos, uh, joining the Skull Squad is a great way to just directly support the channel. It's pretty cheap and, if, and um, it helps out a lot. Um, other than that, again, if you're interested in some nice quality stencils, go to mikesbrush.com. Get yourself some nice quality stencils. We also have the new skull stands and the skull lids. So if you're interested in, in, in a nice skull stand, um, make sure you go and you check them out, mikesbrush.com. Um, big shout out to Createx again for providing the paint for today's video. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. If you want, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One last thing, if you're interested in learning how to airbrush and you want to take a class, you're serious about it, make sure you go to airbrushartcircus.com and uh, get yourself signed up. Their, their classes are coming up here in February in Baton Rouge. Um, I would highly recommend the Steve Leahy class because it's, it's probably going to be uh, one of the classes that you'll benefit from the most as, as if just airbrushing because uh, Steve cuts like stencils in a way that if you were able to cut the stencils the way Steve does like cutting this kind of stuff you, you're just gonna be like oh yeah I can do, yeah I can do that because <laughs> yeah so um, anyway but they have lots of different classes if you're interested in piss striping all that kind of stuff make sure you go and check them out airbrushartcircus.com great uh, great classes that they have um, yeah I'm going to end the stream there. Thank you guys again all for hanging out. Thank you all the Skull Squad members that were in the chat today. Everybody that dropped a, a, a donation in the chat. You guys are awesome. I, like, I, yeah. I don't even know what to say. Like, thank you. That's all I can say is thank you. I'll try to do my best to bring something good for your donation. I'll try my best. Um, so, again, thank you guys all for everything. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, everybody.